Step into the ring. Choose your fighter. Kazuya.
All right. Sorry about the late start, everyone. Welcome to the SVSU Cardinal uh, Twitch stream for Smash Brothers. Today we got the, uh, is it the SVSU, is it A team or B team? We got the A team versus uh, OWU today. Uh, looks like right now we have, uh, uh, I'm Brian, first, from, first and foremost, SV Cactus Gat. And we have, uh, I'm Tyler. Uh... All right. So, you know, it's our first time casting together. Give us, cut us a little slack, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, all right. So we got Aquatic on the Captain Falcon on the acclaimed, you know, this is his, uh, I'm pretty sure that's his main, right? Oh, I think so. Uh, uh, what's his name again? Uh, <laughs> well, Aquatic. Yeah. So, um, let's see what we got here. All right. Kazuyu, Kazuyu is always fun to watch. <laughs> it's about how many yeah, electrics he gets. Insane, yeah. <laughs> small Battlefield. Well, I, I'm a big fan of Small Battlefield too, to be honest. It's like uh, a perfect balance. Uh, stage, not too many platforms. One platform. I don't really... Third platform, you I, I just don't like the one big one. Third platform. Game. Oh, okay. Alright, so. Looks like we're waiting for them to even out the stocks. Or not even, but. <laughs> Back to. Alright. Excited to see some Falcon. Yeah, Captain Falcon's a pretty hype character. <laughs> oh man, going for the thwack already. For the. <laughs> and I, I play hero, I just topple it. I don't have the reaction time for that. <laughs> <laughs> A nice up smash read. Yeah. But yeah, Cam Falcon's not gonna let this hero uh, on, back down onto the uh, main stage for free. I hear those down specials a lot, a lot less scary. Oh man. Get up attack nice. was not the right option there. All right. Easy win for SVSU. I, I, was, I was just having to see some good hero gameplay. I haven't seen that in a little bit. It was quick, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you didn't get to see it for very long. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of impressive. There's no, there's no critical hit in that entire sequence oh, either. Man. I was waiting for it. I was like, oh, well, so I'm going to find that. He must just be a little unlucky, because every time I play against Hero, it's always three or four crits. <laughs> it's like, for me, it's either I get all the crits, or I get all the kamikaze. Or <laughs> kamikaze. <laughs> so we got, for bands today, we got, uh, for this match, we got FD, Smash Town, and I think that's it. Crazy, but they put Smash on in Fun City. Yeah, I mean it's they definitely have their both. They have they they're definitely different, have some but... differences, but no, I agree with you. They're pretty similar. If you're Captain Falcon, where where are you trying to go? Oh, me trying to have like a fucking. Um... <laughs> <laughs> if you're a rush down character, where where are you trying to go? Uh, personally, I think. Okay, PS2. I would think better, but I. Don't... I don't play Rush. Yeah, I was about to well. say, like, I was about to say Final Destination. Final Destination is that one here. FD, is you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you know, you know, it, for some, for, like, a Rushdown character like Captain Falcon, you know, you really want to just, you don't want to, like, I don't know, sometimes, sometimes the platforms are appreciated for certain combos, but if I'm the Rushdown character, I don't want them to be camping me out on the platform. But, okay, we got a King DDD. Heavy matchup. So... How many uh, Gordos we got here? <laughs> See how many times he can hit over B. Edge guarding. <laughs> All right, getting right into it. Now, when I play against DD, I always look out for that. Um, I don't look out for his Gordos as much as heard of his surprising speed. Man, you know, like. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> well, one thing about the Gordo, man. Oh, what up? <laughs> Doesn't work once, it works twice, I guess. 
But um, one thing about the Gordo, man, you know, it's like I used to have a lot of trouble playing around the Gordo, and you gotta on find those moves that can that can hit it back. Either you can either clank with it and or like you parry it, right? You, you in like ooh, I'm too bad you can't really spike King D. But yeah, like I found out you could parry the Gordo, and man, life it changes when you actually do it. I play Promplant, it's so crazy. Promplant spike ball is better. So it's <laughs> so interesting. You get like hit him two times. It's oh, it has two hitboxes? Well, like you hit you hit the spike ball back with each and sometimes if you're lucky, you get spike ball hit still. Oh, oh, you're off. talking about when you throw each throw them at each other. They're both spiky. But also, it's such a crazy combo. It's like, it's like every project on the. He does, yeah, if he wants to. And, but you know. Captain Falcon quick. Oh! Ooh! Ooh. With the armor providing. I, I thought that DDD was. Uh, yeah. SD there. It's that armor on the up B was able to prevent him from getting uh, spiked. That. That. Or smash He said. Ooh. I did not know uh, down air would beat uh, up air. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, and that's typical uh, DD. He's just throwing out smash attacks. His big mallet. Can't be too far or too close. And right now, Captain Falcon's having to approach DDD a lot, and that's exactly what DD wants is uh, for people to approach him. Ooh, Ooh, that ledge. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they always go for that, but it works. So, fortunately, DD takes this round. <laughs> oh, okay. So, overall, though... Actually, I... I think with D... Not many plans. Mm-hmm. Gordo is there just to... Right, and also I feel like Gordo too is just like a little bit of zone control. You know, you, you're you able to uh, take up some space with that. And, and you know, I see a lot of DDDs trying to edge guard with it too. It's pretty. Alright, so it looks like we're, we're ban they're banning uh, Town, FD, and, and Smashville. Alright. <laughs> mm. I don't... Oh, Puff? So we're sending one of our renowned players, Puff. See which which character he's gonna pull out of his arsenal. <laughs> he plays a lot of different he characters. Plays a lot of different characters. Kirby <laughs> is his main, but I, you know, he I see him lab in so many different characters, so oh, yep, oh, yep. he is bringing out yep. the Kirby, it is try hard time, so <laughs> and I think it's a good Kirby. So I think I think what Pip's really good at uh, is just well, Puff's really good at is he's just like playing beneath the stage, <laughs> playing beneath the stage, and also too, it, if your combo is not true, Puff uh, Puff is getting out of it. Oh, looks like they we've chosen Kalos as the stage for next. Uh, All right, round. Hey Kalos, I'm always wary of like the shape of the stage. That wall can get you sometimes too, you know. If you're not ready, if you're not ready to tech it, you know, then uh, you, some uh, stage spikes are pretty uh, devastating. At the same time, I can appreciate a stage. Not so. Ready? Mm -hmm, that yeah, that's. All right, so Kirby's looking to you know combo DDD in the in the early percentage, but. It's a, ED has a long road to go. Three stocks, but... Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, all it takes is one good hit, and then he's going to be taking a lot of percentage. Just like right now. <laughs> 
climb back up though. Oh, I'm jumped into the lower area. Yeah, one one hit though led to 58 percent. Seems like he's playing Luigi, but he's not. <laughs> it's just the heavy tax. What I'm worried about is I think DD's recovery is slightly better than Kirby. Uh, the armor on Uppy. Yeah. Yeah. So we're almost looking for like uh, he has to uh, he has to recover second recipe. He gets punished for it. I guess Kirby's is faster though. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. You know, the mix-up, though. Sometimes he's going to catch the ledge, sometimes he's going to land straight on Good top of the stage. Um, recovery has a thing on the top, too. Mostly hits on the bottom. This guy really loves his Gordo. <laughs> Almost, almost caught him with the two frame, down special. Nice. The forder. Oh wow. Heavy though. Heavy though. Oh wait. Ooh nice. wow, that nice. is a, that is a frame. I didn't think I was connecting. I that is like, a oh. tight frame uh, that you have to hit that in for the King DD box to not also hit you. So that's a very, very well played by Puff. Kirby, thing it's someone. It's, they, I'm feeling like they're gonna pick a heavy. Just otherwise, I feel like you're in a world of trouble. You need someone with a good recovery against. I think. I think. I think if you're really trying to beat Kirby, I think you. you what you could also do is uh, pick like a someone with like a sword. You know, mm. with like someone with, with someone's uh, a character with a set of moves that have a lot of disjoints would be preferable against Kirby because Kirby Kirby lacks a little range. And yeah, I was thinking Mega Man's not. Bad. Mega Man's not a bad option, though. Uh, because, um... Well, yes, Kirby can technically like, tiles so many at once. Okay, so we got... It looks like we got Battlefield, Hollow Bastion, and, and Small Battlefield are banned, so... I'm not a personal fan. Yeah, I'm not... You know, Hollow Bastion, I forget that that's allowed sometimes, <laughs> so... Um... <laughs> I feel like when I'm playing my, especially with care with like zoners, I have like a arching move. Platform stops so. Many. Mm -hmm. I guess it depends. Kirby would probably. Be I think I see Kirby strike. Oh, I see why you don't like platforms because when you're playing Piranha Plant, <laughs> you, when you spit it, it's gonna <laughs> land on top of the platform. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it, oh, okay. Oh, that's not the reason. Oh. Oh, that is the reason. I uh, I think it's Piranha Plant, and um, I've been playing a lot of Game and Watch. And uh, got like his down air or whatever. Kind of hits. He can always use that platform as like a umbrella to it. Comes out quickly. Doesn't come out quickly enough. Right. No, and honestly, you know, I, it just feels bad when uh, they're under when, when a character is under you. You mm -hmm. know, if you notice that, like a lot of a lot of characters are really good at like making you pay a lot of percentage for trying to come down when you're above them. So it's like that platform also adds just a layer of protection too, because you know, like for example. Kirby can't down B to come down if you're under a platform because you just right. hit the platform. I feel like like Battlefield, yeah, there's three, but there's little gaps you can. Mm -hmm. it's not... Oh, favorite characters. Okay, I gotta think. So, I love uh, most of the characters I play are DLC characters because I love gimmick. If you notice, I, I play hero and game watch. Luck characters are bigger than mine. <laughs> I love just trying to get nine, even. <laughs> really, you're not supposed to do that, but I get it frequently. Ah, uh, little um, tech difficulties, I see. I'm wondering what's, what's going on here, but... Favorite stage? Favorite, favorite stage? Not, not just legal stage, really. No, in general? Um, well, I don't really... <laughs> I don't really play any of the fun stages, you know. So if if I had to pick a stage to where I'm going every time, it's normal battlefield. Very fair. I like I like platforms. They extend combos. I can use them to hide from projectiles. I can, you know, uh, yeah. And honestly, too, it's just it's another place to uh, um, air dodge to you know, get on top of. I'd I have say. a uh, final plaza. I think traveling isn't intrusive. Where it puts you. Because you're not like traveling like how you do in 
F Zero. <laughs> <F-Zero, laughs> uh, no, one Mario Kart stage. It's a pretty equal ground. So, well, let I, me tell I, you about my favorite character first. Okay. My favorite character is Ness and Luigi. I, I prefer to, you know, attack the mental warfare. You oh, know, wait, I can't cheer for that. I can't cheer for that. <laughs> oh, you can't. You know. <laughs> Going into the game, we got. It looks like we have a switch to the piranha plant. Actually, I'm, I'm curious about this coming. Um, I, I was playing with one of my friends who was good at Kirby, and Ball Plant's recovery doesn't do so, that well against Kirby's down air. What do you if, you, if you're piranha plant, what do, what do you do in this matchup? Oh, okay, so what you want to do is, even though off edge things, this promise thing, don't, because it's not worth trying to fight the Kirby aerials. What you want to do is kind of hug the edge as much as possible, not far enough where you can down air you. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, because that just. Oh look at that! Oh, but I mean, you can broke. recover if you're low enough, but wow, like, especially if you're at a high percentage, it's just so hard because he can just combo it down to the blast zone. I've learned to fight it a little bit. But he bit, drifted but... to the right the, into that blast zone and was able to get the up air off. It was close though. It was close. Yeah, no, that was a really, <laughs> also really cool. Yeah. The speed that uh -oh. thing comes out is insane. But I don't. I don't, I, I don't know about the uh, skin choice. But... <laughs> How often are you using side B in this matchup? Um, so side B is a uh, ledge trapping. Cool, um, mostly. Okay. Cool, mostly. In the, right there. So, also it's a really, and I don't see people use that this way, but I, I was, it, it, you can hide behind the side B. If you want to like do a couple mixes that way, it's, they can't tell if you're doing down B or if you're going to go for like a different. Or a smash attack. Or a smash attack, yes. One thing I've needed to learn as a prom point is not to down B too much, as, as powerful as it is. I think See, that's my next question. How are, how are you using down B in this matchup? So, what you want to do is, down B is a really good, like, protection move. If, if like, he wants to go down and down air you, if you're low enough, you can stop that. Although, spike wall usually does. Mm -hmm. So, down B is really only good if you know it's going to land. Because your hitbox, yes, extends that far. What is your hurt box? Oh, right. So, like, I've extended into, um... Into some spikes, huh? Exactly. Yeah. And it hits you at the base too. It doesn't hit you at the front there. Mm. At the base? Oh, from oh, okay. Yeah. It goes so, from where you hit, where you decided to down B at. Yes. Uh, I. But they can hit you where your head is essentially. Yes. Okay. Now, if you're prompt here, that's a light character. Um, up throw at above like a certain percentage is your. Up throw kills stupid early for a throw. I think I don't see the. But oh, and then there's that one. Yeah. I think what problem is you gotta you wanna keep away. Yeah. Well, it looks like looks like we're going back to stage selection. But um, one more thing I want to talk about Piranha Plant. That down your down air is, <laughs> your is, down a, air. is a little bit of a joke, isn't it? So <laughs> it's I've, I've actually counted, counted the number of times I've landed. That's like it, it is nine. nine. It's I've only landed. nine. <laughs> His, His spike, spike is a lot harder to land. land. It's not, not a big, big hitbox. Hit no, I know, and you know I've tried my best to every time. You know, it, it just feels like a like a a tap almost and. That sweet spot's very hard to get as well. Oh, it is very, very difficult. Yeah. Because, yeah. and the worst part is if you don't hit, it has a hit launch upwards. Oh, wow. And so, so they can spike you back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the reason I started to morph into game launch a little bit, I started to let, prop, I still play prop lane, but I don't play as much anymore because game launch is, um, down air feels a lot nicer. <laughs> hey, so it looks like we're sending out, uh, our King K. Rule, uh, main, Gomer. And um oh looks like small battlefield too. Alright. Alright, I can I can get on. So yeah, I guess you know, two zoners oh, two against each other right now. Two heavy zoners, I'd say. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Anyway. Wait, oh, oh yeah, because yeah, we, we got yep. This, this matchup, matchup I I don't know. I, I wouldn't know I don't know if Piranha Plant's really considered a zoner as much as King K rule. I, I play, play him, him like one. I know he's, he's not, not I play him. Okay, <laughs> <if> he, he, <laughs> so he can be kind of played like one. I, I think he's a rush down, but I don't, don't know exactly. I don't it's hard to say. I'd say I, I, both. Like I've seen both. I've seen. I have seen some pretty uh, a forward piranha plants, but I've you know I've only seen one type of King K rule. <laughs> Side B and uh, neutral B the character. King K rule is scary. <laughs> I've played this matchup. Um, staying on the edge is still preferable because K rule does play a little weird edge, but. Okay. Mm. All right. Um. Yeah, like K rule. So scared if I get this. You can. If, once he starts something, he will finish it. Like that. I feel like it's really hard to fight against someone like that. 
And you know, he's and he, and you know what the frustrating part is, is that like he's super hard to edge guard in my opinion. And then they gave him a de a really good counter. So even when you do get him on the ropes, when even when you do get him into disadvantage, he's like recovery. Yeah, like, no, the recovery. He has to recover his problem essentially. So. Yeah. I, I I think it's better because like I can hit I feel like it's much easier to hit a piranha plant out of its up B than it is to hit a, a King K rule out of Although, its up B. Although I think K rules with more punch. Uh, because you can because yeah, I'll bet you can kind of arch around what you're like the other person. I know you can hit them when they come down, but K rule I feel but like you can't spike it. You can't spike King. K uh, no, not from the top. Oh, not from the top. So, oh, oh, okay. Oh. So that's that's where we're at in the middle. Okay, so last last stock situation for this. Um, oh, that that Dalby might have for been. this piranha plant here. He has to carry the whole team against another three stock heavy person. So it's gonna be yeah, kind yeah, of it, a was, long road ahead for this piranha plant. I, say, I think probably his biggest weakness are account. Uh, like, I feel like probably is such a quick hit character. You can. Like, kind of catch where they're going with that. Mm hmm Although, that is easy, that is a counter move you need to counter. Because it will deal the same damage back to the base, and I think it... Oh, I assume. Well. But, hold us. That spike ball, you need to be wary of that one. Wow, using, <laughs> using a side B to, you know, guard the ledge so you can make a recovery. I have never seen that before, to be honest. Pretty good. One thing to be aware of as a prophet is anything, anyone that benefits from taking. So this is not an example of that, but <laughs> I was I play against Joker a lot because one of the people I play against most plays Joker. Side B does not work; <laughs> it just generates arson. Oh, that grounding move. Yeah, it's, it's a it's about the same. It's as a nice one. stock. To, it's a nice stock taken by uh, Gomer. 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 All right, so back to the stage selection. We've won. We've won the first match out of. T it's two out of three. So all we have to do is uh, shut them out one more time, and then you know, that'd be a wrap for us. But what do you think was the? Uh, I think um, this team does a lot of zoners. I'm not zoners. Like DD, we got DD prompt playing all of them. I'm just like, hmm. <laughs> it is a team of heavies. Yeah. So, uh, I. I you, I wasn't here for the first matchup, so I don't know it was, what uh, the Kazuya first. Kazuya versus Pyramithra. Oh, Kazuya versus Pyramithra. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. To watch. Another. I mean, Kazuya is considered a heavy, heavy, but right? We, but we were Kazuya. I have not. Kazuya and Pyramithra are so interesting because Pyramithra. Well, yes, being I again, I play them like a zoner, but I know they're not. Yeah, I just play Pyra. <laughs> no Mithra. Mithra. Mithra, though, and I. Was, I I underestimated Pyramithra grabs, to be honest. I don't use them. Alright, well, I think that was a good match for SSU. No, that was a great match. So, so who gets to pick and ban first? Did, did they, did they uh, pick and ban first last game? Or? <laughs> <laughs> um, I know we played on... Okay. I think they chose? All right, so hey, let me ask you a question. So if you're SVSU right now, who are you sending out first? I think, um, I think San Kero has a cleanup idea. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking, I would argue go with the same kind of thing last time. I think it worked pretty well. So, so Kazuya... Uh... Starting with Kazuya to knock off the first character and a half, maybe. Then after Kazuya was... Um, Kirby. Kirby. Kirby's good for a middle, and then you had... Um, uh, King K. Rool, King K. Kinda, I yeah. think that's a really good thing, because King K. Rool is good at... Finishing off stocks, maybe you you could swap Kazuya and Kirby, mm -hmm. but keeping Kirby in the middle is what I would go with. Kirby's good for um down stocks even. Yeah, and I like Kazuya too because um I like Kazuya sending him out first because you know I mean if you know how to play Kazuya, there's a lot of like cheese stocks that you can get. Oh yeah. And it's and you know and it, it's Kazuya's pretty uh, tilting to play against in my opinion. So it's like you know you you you're you're testing their patience and you're testing their their skill quite See, frankly. When I'm playing Kazuya, I'm in patience. I gotta get stuck in those combos. Mm-hmm. So. Oh. No, you get stuck, and I mean, you know, it's like certain Kazuas, they hit you with like one falling forward air, and then they combo it into uh, up air electric, and then you're done, you know? And, oh, yeah. 
I mean, pop smash. I like forever. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I I think with Kazuya, my biggest problem is the that one ten hit combo. I know it's easy, I know it's easy to get out of, but I struggle because it does it um puts your percentage so high, and then yeah. anything will kill. So I think you know, in one thing, so one more busted thing about Kazuya, I think is, is like. Um, they didn't need to give him a comeback mechanic, but they no, did, no. and they did. And yeah. you know, him getting the extra jump and him getting uh, is it is it a damage buff he gets as well, or is it just uh, an extra jump? I think it's that, and then he gets like that one extra move. Server. Mm -hmm. I think it's like rage plus what he gets, which is crazier. Right, but you know, and it's like when he gets those wings, it's like oh, okay, so he his character was designed to be kind of bad at recovering, but. He gets the comeback mechanic, yeah. and all of a sudden, he's decent at recovering. Like, it's like they tried to make him. <laughs> he, honestly, that's a good comparison. He, he, <laughs> Kazuya is the good little Mac. <laughs> I don't know, man. If you played against the little Mac, I, th I, I think the one difference is the little Mac is faster, but Kazuya hits harder. I, Although little well, Mac does hit pretty hard. I, I mean, there's, there's, I think Kazuya has a, 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 a lot more kill confirmed. A lot yes. more like there's a lot of moves where it's like you get hit by it and if the opponent knows what they're doing your stock is taken from it. whereas like with like whereas with uh little mac little mac has to wait until he gets his uh ko punch and then he can have some kill setup and then he can have some hit confirms into kill punch i think but... the only way they could have made kazuya worse <laughs> <laughs> well didn't they has to run on most moves so all right, so it looks like we have Battlefield, Pokemon Stadium, and um, Town and City all banned. Right. Was that by the enemy team, or or, or was that by Ooh, ours? Isabel. Okay. Oh, Puff's going Isabel. Okay. Maybe we get some nice fishing. Okay, so we... Oh, we're in small Battlefield. Okay. That's not a bad thing, Chris. Oh no, I mean, oh, that's not Ooh. a well. So this matchup, hmm. I think so. Strong for Isabel, actually. Well, I mean, I have a projectile, like, but it's it, not. You, catch sword. You, you can't catch sword. Okay, no, yeah, you I didn't can't think catch so. Sword. I know some characters you can like reflect it. Yeah. So, so the Isabel and Pyramithra matchup. I know one thing for sure that Puff's gonna do a great job of setting up his uh, Nautiloids or. Oh my gosh! Actually, yeah, I, I played Isabel. I'm in Isabel for like the beginning game. Hmm. Yeah, they're called Nautiloids. Okay, yeah, the, the Nautiloids, you know, I, I always get caught by them, you know, <laughs> when I play. I against think I them. get caught more by that more than Snake. At least Snakes, I feel like, you can see these blend in, especially with Battlefield too, because it's like a tan four. Yep, there it is. I think what Puff's gonna use a lot of aerials because you can't get too close to fire. No, you, I mean either way, you're in danger, but especially close. No, uh, he's gonna keep him away with the slingshot. He's gonna try and you know catch this uh, power and Mithra lacking. Ooh, yeah, edge but... guard and power and Mithra. Ooh, that was snap. Two balloons though, two balloons. Oh man, that's that is a dirty hit com kill confirm right there. Down air into up smash. Classic. Although. I will say, Isabel aerials are going to be a challenge for this fire method, I can tell. Try to go for the... Ah, uh, don't yeah. try to aerial uh, fire method too much. Yeah, it's it's hard to say, because you do want to try and pressure uh, sword characters off stage, because, you know, you hit, them one, you hit a sword character off stage once, most of them are dead. Except but, <laughs> you know, you can, you, you, can hit, you can hit them out of the side B, out of Pyra's side B. When they're Pyra, try to get them, try to bait them in. Bring out their sword. That's such a short window. Yeah, it's almost hard to play around that. Um, let's see. So Puff coming back, taking the stock back, even and getting the percentage even as well. Oh, well. oh. commentator's That's curse. Pyra <laughs> <laughs> um, just says no. Pyra down here is like. Cause... Oh, it's it covers in front of her. <laughs> behind her, obviously below her. I think your Pyramithra filed a snake. Yeah, you you want you don't want them to hide from you, and especially because you can like do the. If, if, I mean, Pop probably wouldn't fall for this, but I know I've done this to a couple people. 
where like Ali will jump and do and like almost backwards juggle with down airs because they come out so quick. Mm -hmm. They hit so hard too. Oh, oh, well, I can respect it. <laughs> the, a little mix up there. The Isabel, the Isabel uh, recovery cheese. That's side easy. Yeah, online's a little tough too with projectiles. Mm -hmm. Projectiles get a little bit of buff when you play online, so I know Buff ain't falling for that in uh <laughs> on land. Because <laughs> they bring a pyro. If that recovery is so much damage. That knockback from it. Buff's doing a really great job of just keeping this game even and, and like yeah. oh, honestly yeah. now taking a, a percentage lead. Against a broken DLC character. Oh. I gotta mix it. Ah, uh, in the air. It's so scary because Pyro's juggling. Yeah, d between you know. Um... Oh, we might be okay. Oh, uh, get one more anyway. It's it's anyone's game now. Oh, yep, there oh, is. Oh wow, Isabel. You know uh, that's that's actually crazy line. because uh, I think I think Puff didn't Puff didn't land a single fishing rod until that fishing rod. You know, if I, I he may have landed one, but it's so hard to land those on characters. I can like go through. Yeah, and honestly though, it's like uh, Puff was saving that. That was, I think that was a little mind game by Puff by holding on, waiting till like the last. Uh, moment to throw that out and yeah, I just respect it. I, 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 he threw a lot of side airs and I and I know like side air is insane. It looks like such a small project. Mm -hmm. No, it, it's but it's hard to it's it, hard to predict. Like we're banning FD, Kalos, and PS2, and uh, see what they want to go to after that. I guess yeah, with Isabel. You really don't want that double platform setup, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not an Isabel player, so it's hard to, for me to say oh, what... I haven't played Isabel in a long time. When, know, I played, I... when I played Isabel, I wasn't good at the game, so... <laughs> it was just... When I, would play, when I played this game, when it first came out, I loved... I loved Villager in, 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 in Smash 4. Hmm. I was like, oh, they got... They got... <laughs> <laughs> That's better? <laughs> Although, they didn't... They took away Tree, which makes... <laughs> yeah, tree. You know, tree I do. I like tree. I do like tree. Well, tree just is. They it just got moved to villager, right? Yeah. yeah, villager has tree. I do find it interesting how they did not make Bella, um like a fire. direct, uh, a direct echo fighter. Yeah, yeah. You, I would have thought they would have. I am curious if they're probably next. I don't know. They might be going the same order. So, uh, OWU, so they have, so now the, um, the Pyramithra is gone. So now they have a DD, they have a, a person who plays DDD left and a person who, who plays Piranha Plant. Piranha Plant. So, so who guess, are you throwing out next? Um, I think Leaving Piranha Plant will last is actually a good idea because, um, DDD kind of was, was a good, like, ground cover mm -hmm. in a way. And I'm sure they're saying a DD next because if he's playing Isabel, they're not gonna set up prop playing against Isabel. unless the prop player. Yeah, because because like yeah, because uh, oh, oh, never mind. Oh, wow. Well, okay. I mean, Isabel can take the the spike. Right? Yeah, and that's like Prophet's biggest like um, and honest, mix up thing. And honestly, if I'm if I'm OWU, I'm sending out the DDD because you know at least you can eat some of the projectiles. Right. I oh, mean, I guess if you really wanted to. Isabel's pretty fast though. I it, don't. Isabel is fast. I mean, Prophet's still with the DDD. One. Go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you can kill it. I did not know you could. Uh, I did not know you could take your own stock like that. <laughs> I was. I see if they're, when they're playing here, they're gonna like just search for Kamikaze. Got it first. All right. So what I'm thinking the problem it's gonna do here is oh, he really can't. But it's hard to edge guard Isabel though. Because Isabel's recovery is so good. This is not it's another one of those where you have to like you can't contest it from the from the bottom uh, from the top down. You have to come at it from the side. Although I will say, is, um, probably can can handle the fishing rod decently. Well, I would have, but maybe DD, maybe they weren't gonna play DD. Yeah, even though I don't, 
You don't see why Ace Block ca players catching things. I think, I I honestly think their DDD is probably uh, just from watching last match. Uh, I think their DDD is probably one of their better players. So oh, he's, yeah. he's probably gonna just anchor him. And as much as I'd love to say it's tough right now. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, no, it's nothing about the, the, oh, yeah. the character. It's, it's just, you know, I think that the DDD skill is just probably the best. I will say, I think, I think the goal here for Isabel is to get a, it, at least one stack off. And oh, that is the max range fishing pole right there. <laughs> I think the, the challenge playing foul play right now. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh. is Isabel is a character. There's your up throw that you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, so that up throw I, on, on a light, not too, on a light like, I think When I think about up throws, I only think... Up throw. So, oh, Mewtwo's yeah, up throw. Mewtwo has like one of the craziest uh -huh. up throws. But honest, no, Piranha Plant's up throw is also pretty good too. Kills early. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure not many characters are given an up throw. You know, like we, when you think about back throws, you think about like Ness's mm -hmm. back throw, you think about, um, I don't even know anyone else's up <laughs> back. I only think about Ness's because, you know, that's my main. But mm -hmm. I just know that he has one of the strongest ones. Oh, um, man, I'm playing against Ness or Lucas. That's aerials. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. Ness and Lucas, you know, they live in the air, you know, they, and if they're not in the air, they're a bad character. <laughs> <laughs> like how, like, if, if you're, if you're not throwing out spike balls at every given opportunity, you're not playing pro. Yeah, I feel, I definitely understand that. Look, we got SV Aquatic back on the Captain Falcon, going to take you know on what? this. Not a bad, not a bad counter, actually. Because, hmm. um, you can kind of, you're going to be, you're going to be faster than a lot of things probably can do. Well, yes, he can pull out the spike balls pretty quickly. Captain Falcon still. Yeah, and Kevin Falcon's frame data in general is probably better than mm -hmm. uh, Piranha Plant. I guess I'm gonna see a lot of grounded Falcon kicks just to just kind of get under like the Piranha Plant defense wall. If that makes sense. Oh, you know, I never thought about uh, using uh, down uh, using Captain's kick. To... You will, I th unless I'm thinking correctly. I think that gets through poison pretty, easy, which mm. is why I'm guessing Cloud's gonna. I'm sure it doesn't stop it. I'm sure no, it doesn't stop no. it. No. So I think that's what you're gonna do. Or and you, captain, you can captain you can captain uh you can kick underneath the projectiles oh, too sure, if, yeah. if you do it quick enough. I think this is a really good choice on their part because I I wouldn't have sent Kirby against this prompt plant. I I think that's I mean well because Kirby. All right, so it looks like uh we were told final des final destination town and city and battlefield. and battlefield were banned. So now we're going to small battlefield. I'm pretty All right, sure. I think in this is small battlefield is prompt plants like that's what's around because it's like a perfect you don't. Well, I think Kyle's probably is better because of the way it's shaped. You won't get like recovery stopped as bad with like. Um, yeah, I think Tom has a bit a bit of trouble here because the way Ed Falcon works, mm -hmm. he's just faster. I mean, you <laughs> know, he's gonna get, gonna get comboed pretty. I feel like Captain. I mean, if it's all about if Captain Falcon finds the opening. Right? Yeah, you know, we say problem, in theory you need to find an opening problem. In, in yeah. theory, you know, but um. But yeah, like once Captain Falcon gets his hands on the the um the Piranha Plant, it could look like some big percentage be tacked on for it. So but then again, you know, the same could be said. You know, who, who knows? So like maybe the Piranha Plant zones him off. And so you also remember Captain Falcon discovery not the greatest. Well, not actually, the greatest. You yeah, can't, you cannot spike him though. That of, is true. Up, because of his up yeah. yeah, but you know, like you don't really spike with Piranha Plant unless it's really gonna work. Yeah, and honestly though too, like fighting. I mean, it's always kind of a gamble fighting Captain Falcon off off stage because if he gets the sense that you want to fight off stage, then he might throw the random side B out and spike you back. You know, like that's a pretty. I mean, it's a pretty hard read. Probably but. playing a very defensive game right now. I can. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Both character, both players are willing to play underneath the stage. It's kind of. I always like to see players willing to you know go down there and fight. I'm one of those players. I love I love fighting uh, off the edge. Oh off the gosh, edge. Yeah. yeah, I'm I love edge guarding. I love and I love seeing it. So I was playing. Um, oh, uh, I didn't realize he just he just stuffed the down air from Captain Falcon with the with the Patui. Oh yeah, Patui uh, has spread with so many things. It does. That's Game even, and Watch down air is one of them. Wow. Which shocks me because Game Watch uh, down air is insane. Man, he just got stage bike though. He does not tech those. <laughs> I think what Captain Falcon's looking for here is, like you said, an opening to get a Falcon kick in because I think that's gonna start a uh, line of thing. Those, is... those spike ball scares are. Crazy oh wow! <laughs> the double is side B. Doesn't work once. Try it again. Well, I, can, I got like through that spike ball barrier, which is. One thing about Prowl Plant is he's really good at um, scaring you into backing away. Because mm -hmm. you throw up the spike ball, then eat it back again, and it comes back to you really good. Oh, there, nice that was spike. a nice double spike. First off the F tilt, oh, then off the down air. That was. You, 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 cannot, you cannot stay above Prowl Plant for so long. You need to find an opening to get back on the ground, because 
Unless you're a character that thrives that much in the air, which I guess kind of fucking kind of is, but you need to try to avoid being directly bumped at all times as most of his movement goes upward. Well, you know, and I didn't even really, uh, you know, oh, oh, I didn't even really realize how quickly the Patui came out. That's a, you know, that seems pretty reliable to be honest. So, you know, like, <laughs> to fire off Patui versus a Captain Falcon down air is a pretty, uh, Pretty ballsy thing to do, <laughs> but like he just did it again right yeah. there, so it's pretty reliable, obviously. Ooh, but down air into up smash is, is oh. gonna do. Oh, it's not gonna do it. But I think he's pretty much chosen this because getting back on probably is off. Looking for getting on stage, but getting back on stage without taking damage from a Captain Falcon, not easy. Yeah, and and you know he's ledge trapping him very hard right now. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, there's the Falcon. First stop, Falcon first Falcon kick. Very, very, I can see the Captain Falcon going for some crazy. Yeah, this Captain Falcon, out. Captain Falcon is pushing his advantage oh, very is. well, but the two frame is going to kill him anyway. Two frame is going to come through there. And I think my favorite thing from Combat is as he's happy, he survives long too, which is a definitely a thing. Definitely, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's an DD or who? Let's see. Is in this matchup, DD might be this event. Because it's just so much slower. Oh yeah, and I mean Captain Falcon's one of the I feel like one of the better rushdown characters in the game, you know. Because and... the problem is I think it's fucking cover pretty well. Oh no, yeah. Honestly, yeah, because if even if DDD tries to arm DDD can't really armor through up oh, Captain Falcon's recovery. Uh, yeah, it's Captain Falcon's recovery is really, really broken. <laughs> is it a, is it comes yeah, I think it is. I think it's technically a command grab. It has yeah, to be because that would go through that. It would. Yeah, so you, you have to time it very well, but it could happen. <laughs> we need to know though, because um. All right, so enemy squads banning Town FD and Smashville. That's what we're banning, actually. Scratch that. <laughs> um, but uh, and then it looks like they want to go to small battlefield though. All right. Even though they just lost there. <laughs> you know what? Uh, oh yeah, there's the DDD. So if I guess, do you play DDD? I don't. <laughs> uh, I've played. I've played. I've dabbled in DDD. I think DDD is like he's fun with his hammer, and obviously, it, you know the hip, the hitbox the hammer provides. But um, I never really got too in depth with Gordo, so I just kind of. I think you're playing DDD here, which you want to edge guard because I think you have to fucking place off the edge enough that that would be worth it. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, I, I, I would be looking started. to, I would definitely be looking to, um, uh, do the suck, uh, <laughs> the forbidden suck combo. <laughs> and then, Thomas, get, getting, as a heavy, getting an opening on Captain Falcon, not, not. No, not uh, simple it's... at all. And we can, oh. Oh, try, I, get the, I agree in respect, that's, like, trying to go for that spike, with, again, trying to do anything off the edge. Here, because of the up for this hitbox. But, yeah. Yeah, but, okay, so we see the heavy tax in full effect here. And DDD's love throwing out that up air at the ledge. It gets me a lot too, to be honest. I oh, guess. wow, that was a double. That was crazy. Yeah, that was a really nice free throw in Gordo, but. Oh, didn't quite get the edge. Yeah, you know, DDD's looking to punish you for staying on the ledge too long. And Gordo kind of makes you want to stay on the ledge. You know? But there's a command grab coming into work there. Some rage behind it. Both yeah. these, both these characters, both these players love trying to edge guard each other, which is fun to watch. I always like seeing, you know. Yep, that was a nice Gordo. All right, so. I think it's under the philosophy of prop plant spikes. I, I, I am convinced prop plant spikes have, have auto aim. Like Gordo definitely doesn't. Um, <laughs> Gordo, Gordo definitely doesn't. Gordo definitely doesn't. It uh, just right. has a mind of its own. <laughs> Gordo is its own. What I've noticed is with Gordo, you have to be really careful with Gordo, but when you put it in the right spot, it... You know, I think it's pretty crazy when they get the Gordo right on the corner of the stage. Oh my god! And gosh, you know, yeah. when they when they do that consistently, it's pretty brutal for certain characters to recover. Yeah. loves knows when to throw out his ass smash attacks, though. He, he... I... The DD, like... Combo into Gordo is something that's like very yeah. scary to do. And you see how this this DDD is like traveling with his Gordo. He's not yeah. he is not just like letting it fling out in front of him. Reminds me of how like when you're like playing like Samus, you kind of have to do down air. You're, 
You're dumpy open. and then throw into it. It's weird. Oh, right. I didn't even know that was a thing. I no. think I've seen what happened. Like, no, it sounds definitely... If you can, it. it sounds like a thing. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, man. Captain Falcon oh going with the craziest combo oh, with the people's knee to end the end the DDD stock. Wow, what a comeback. Oh. <laughs> man, a couple up airs is all it takes is to, to lead into that people's knee. Dang. What a clean last stock for uh, Aquatic. Gosh. So, stock situation right now, we got SVU that has a total of seven left, and uh, OWU is on their final three. So, long road ahead of the uh, OWU, but... Um, oh, uh, they had a DDD. You only remember three. I know there was. <laughs> Man, that's. Oh, hero. Memory of a goldfish right there for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh. I don't know if they want to send out here. Again. They can avoid it. I guess I, yeah, I guess I got to remember that I only play one character. Because I don't actually play the game too competitively. I just have like five, but. Oh, you know, I, I I just play it for fun. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I've been, I've been playing since the game came out, but um, you know, I I stick to I, I stick to my three characters, uh, Ness, Luigi, and Yoshi. So. I think what I'm at right now is Final Planet, uh, Game and Watch. I I, get, I picked up Game Watch. Oh, I like playing Game, game and Watch. Is actually, Game and Watch is a lot. I, I I'm a dirty. If down I was going for a top three, I don't I don't cut Pirate and Mithra because I only play Pirate and Mithra if I kind of just want to win. <laughs> to be honest, because that <laughs> is like my confirm win thing. Oh, to an extent. If I'm not playing Pyramid Mithra, I guess my third one would be like Yoshi. Oh, you like Yoshi too? Oh, Yoshi's fun. <laughs> oh, up air, uh, up tilt the character. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking. So, if I'm playing against someone who isn't doesn't know Yoshi enough, you get them with like that uh, eat off the ledge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're not ready for it. They are, they are not ready for that. Then down air with Yoshi's. It's so many times. Man, you know what would be a cool combo? You you neutral B a uh, you neutral B them. Uh, ready? Poop them off stage. Oh, <laughs> Min Min, ooh, okay. ooh. You know what? Not a bad choice, actually. You know, Min Min, you know, Min Min is the definition of a zoner. So, you know, he's... This Captain Falcon is going to want to try and rush the Min Min down. It's all about whether or not how well Min Min is good at mm -hmm. keeping him away. You need to also, with Min I think you want to attack Sword from above. Because Min Min's, like, Min Min's guarding from above is a little lower. Mm-hmm. But... Gotta watch out that Min Min grab range too. Yeah, the Min Min grab range is crazy. But also, the Min Min range in general, though, is just obnoxious. Oh, he, Captain Falcon already found a way in. The thing with Min Min is you have to be ready to block. <laughs> okay, what I see this Min Min doing is it's just a lot of, like, trying to almost copy Captain Falcon's play style of, like, run up and do quick jabs. Man, that was such a quick stock there. The... Uh... The down tilt into down air. I didn't know that even was a confirm. Captain Falcon is full of surprises. I, I, I don't fight against Captain Falcon that often because I play, against, play the Falcon, but he's a difficult person to get good at. Like, I've played Falcon a couple times and I mostly stuck to like... I'm more of a... I think my top character is a character that has absurdly good specials. I'm, I'm a really kind of... Oh, that the was specials. the cleanest stock of the night though, oh right my there. Gosh. That was honestly the cleanest stock. Are you gonna see a... Uh, that that's that stock was taken off of one falling forward air. <laughs> so here's my prediction. I think um, they definitely didn't want to play hero. So they this must be like someone else they're pretty good at. But I'm guessing the uh, rush just because and then it was a scary choice. <laughs> oh man, the patience, the patience out for that uh for that grab right there. Aquatic is just going off right now. Well, Captain oh. Falcon is just Ooh, getting everything true. that he wants. Yeah. The Min Min is doing an awful job at zoning right now. Yeah, I, I was just because Min Min is like trying to rush him, like, can't do that with him. Yep, and then he just gets flow charted for the last stock. And that's it! Two All out right. of three, SVSC oh, wins the, the game. Wins the match. Alright. Well... You want to say a quick couple? Oh uh, wait, are you on the screen? 
All right, you want to say a couple uh, thoughts about the matches overall? Uh, I think gotta go, I'm just going to be on a good variety of characters. We didn't get too many Fire Emblem. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I think it was a good show of each character's um, strengths, yeah. strengths and movesets. So I, I think we had a good showing tonight, so that was cool. I think, you know, MVP of the night goes to Aquatic. That, oh my you know, gosh, that last some, match. Was... He had at least three or four clips during those during tonight's matches, you know, mm -hmm. and like to really, really, uh, you know, to really like it was a convincing win. They tried some. They wanted to try something new at the end and it got completely shut down. But mm -hmm. it looks like that's all we got time for here, folks. Uh, this is the SVSU uh, Twitch channel uh, casting you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we have League of Legends playing at 8.30. Um, if you guys want to tune into that, I'll be playing. Uh, we'll be playing against uh, some random college team that I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, your boy will be playing. So, But uh, thanks again for watching, everyone. And I uh, hope you guys have a good day or a good night.